QBeth is a Swiss technology demonstration satellite. It is equipped with a new generation of tiny GPS receivers as used in mobile phones. For the first time, such receivers will be flown in space. The precise determination of a satellite's position is crucial for many applications. QBeth will orbit the Earth at a height of approximately 400 kilometers, resulting in a full revolution time of only 90 minutes. GPS navigation satellites orbit the Earth at a much higher altitude, at about 20,000 kilometers. QBeth uses the navigation signals of the GPS satellites to determine its exact location. This positioning technique is already used by other spacecrafts, but none of them are as small as QBeth, nor require as little energy consumption. These GPS receivers are particularly small in size and mass, and have a very low energy consumption. These are characteristics of a typical GPS receiver used in mobile phones. Therefore, the U-Blocks receivers are well suited for space applications. We have tested the receivers under various conditions of vacuum, temperature and radiation. In addition, we use a redundant system with 10 tiny receivers. Consequently, if one receiver fails, it is not an issue. QBeth is just 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters in size. Its side panels are equipped with solar cells for power production. All the electronics are located inside the cube. Four GPS antennas are located on the upper face and an additional one on the side. Each antenna is connected to two receivers. The 10 receivers, built by the Swiss company MuBlox, are 12 by 16 millimeters large and located on the payload board. Three small special mirrors, called retroreflectors, allow measuring the spacecraft's position from the Earth with a laser and can be used to verify the satellite's position. In addition to the position, the orientation of the cube is of interest. The orientation of the cube is determined through measuring the travel time difference of a signal, shown in red, between the two antennas. Repeating this procedure with all antennas and all satellites leads to the full attitude. As the satellite passes over satellite laser ranging stations, for instance, Zimmerwald next to Bern, its position is determined from the stations. Comparing the position determined from the satellite laser ranging stations with the onboard GPS allows for evaluation of the receiver's performance. If the first mission is successful, we will continue in two ways. First, we assume that two frequency receivers will be available soon. These new receivers will result in improved accuracy and allow measurements of the Earth's atmosphere. Second, we will consider the possibility to launch several satellites simultaneously. By then, we will have the technical knowledge and opportunity to launch a small constellation. This constellation will allow measurements between each of the satellites.